guys it's summer welcome or welcome back to my channel i am so glad that you decided to click on today's video if you are new welcome if you are a returning subscriber thank you for coming back and joining me in today's video we are going to be budgeting out my March paycheck. I am a salary employee who gets paid once a month on the last working day of the month. Here on my channel, I am documenting my financial journey as I am paying off debt and saving money at the same time. I do pay off my debt using the avalanche method and I budget using a zero based budget with the cash envelope system. Here on my channel, I do share my real numbers. I am a teacher, so my income is public record, so I do share those real numbers with you. But before we get started, if you like videos on paying off debt, saving money, budgeting, or anything budget related, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and definitely consider hitting that subscribe button to join me on my financial journey. I would love to have you become a part of the family. So let me go ahead and zoom in. I do budget using the Budget by Paycheck workbook by The Budget Mom. If you are interested in this workbook, I will link it in the description box and I will also try to link all the products that I do use to budget. If you're interested in something that is not linked, um, just message me and I will try to link it if I can. For those of you guys that want the workbook, I would encourage you to go ahead and purchase the workbook now. She did announce a few weeks ago that she was not going to be producing a new workbook for 2023. So all of the inventory that she has now is all that she is going to have until she has a new release. She is still going to have some digital items, but if you want a physical workbook, I suggest buying it now. I went ahead and bought my physical workbook along with the Live Rich Planner because I really do like having um, it spiral bound versus me having to print it myself. If you are budgeting along with me and you do not have a workbook, that is okay. There are tons of ways to budget. You can budget using pen and paper. You can budget with other budget worksheets. Um, just use whatever is beneficial to you or whatever you have on hand. I really like the Budget by Paycheck workbook. I feel like it definitely helps me to keep my finances organized. So the first thing that you want to do with any budget is you want to list out all your sources of income. I do get paid once a month, so I do my budget once a month, but if you do get paid every other week, you can do your budget every other week or every week if you do get paid weekly. So for me, my teacher salary is $4,829.32. I do have my teacher salary split up into two payments. The majority of my money, the $4,829.33 does go into my checking account. And then I also have $400 go into a super savers account. I have other income of $500 a month. So I'll go ahead and put that there. It's about now that we have all of my income let's go ahead and add those numbers up to see my income total so let's take four thousand eight hundred and twenty nine dollars and thirty three cents plus four hundred dollars plus five hundred dollars so my monthly income is five thousand seven hundred and twenty nine dollars and thirty three cents so i am going to go ahead and put that amount on my income total wine and then the next part of my budget is I go ahead and list all of my fixed expenses. Fixed expenses are expenses that tend to be about the same every month. Um, they don't change by much. I went ahead and listed my fixed expenses ahead of time to save time. My rent is $1,408. I do not write the due dates in my workbook. I don't use this to track my bills. I track my bills on a monthly calendar. So I just keep the due date column blank. My SDG&E bill 
is my electric bill. That is $63.83 a month. My cell phone bill is $124.28 a month. My internet is $89.99 a month. I do have iCloud storage, extra storage for my phone. That is $2.99 a month. My car payment is $609.65 a month. USAA, which is my renter's insurance slash car insurance, is $109.93 a month. A firm, which is for my Peloton spin bike, is $62.03 a month. Banfield, which is a doggy medical plan for my dog is $51.95 a month. My son's Kung Fu is $249 a month. My son's piano lessons are $105 a month. The Peloton app for my spin bike is $39 a month. I do have sparklets water delivered to my house every month and that is $43.39. I do have a Tomb Buddy subscription, and that is $9 a month. I do have an Insta Ink subscription, which is ink for my printer, which is $5.99 a month. I do invest, and I invest $150 a month with a American Funds. Elfion, which is my medical credit card, is $333 a month. Orange Theory, which is my gym membership, is $159 a month. And then I do have two other bills, but there is not enough lines to list them. So I did go ahead and write them out on a post-it. I do have a monthly car wash subscription, which is $32.95 a month for unlimited car washes. And I do have my Apple credit card, which is $42.20. I did get a new cell phone in December and it's 0% interest. So I'm currently paying off that cell phone. So that is $42.20 a month. Now that we have all of our fixed expenses, let's go ahead and add up our fixed expenses to get our bill total amount. $1,408 plus $63.83 plus 124.28 plus 89.99 plus 299 plus 609.65 plus 109.93 plus 62.03 plus 51.95 plus 249 dollars plus 105 plus 39 plus 43, 39 plus 9 plus 599 plus 150 plus 333 plus 159 plus my car wash, which is 3295 plus 4220. So it says my bill total is $3,691.18. I do like to double check that. I do use this dual calculator, which I absolutely love because it allows me to check my calculations to make sure it's correct. So if I just push this arrow down, that number will go to the bottom. And then now let's go ahead and check my numbers to make sure I got the right amount. So that is correct. My bill total for the month of April is $3,691.18. Just so that you guys know, since I do get paid once a month on the last working day of the month, I use my March paycheck to cover all of my expenses for April. So now let's go ahead and write our bill total on the line. $3,691.18. So now we need to get our leftover amount after we pay all of our fixed expenses. So if we take my total income of $5,729.33 and minus my bill total, $3,691.18, we are left with $2,038.15. So we're gonna go ahead and take that number and write it on the leftover amount. 
Now that we've budgeted our fixed expenses, let's budget our variable expenses. Variable expenses are expenses that change month to month. My variable expenses are my cash envelopes that I keep in my wallet. I have the following variable expenses food, gas, household, miscellaneous, and self-care. I do also have a guilt-free envelope. However, we are not going to be budgeting money for guilt-free this month. So let's take our leftover amount and put it on this line as well, $2,038.15. For food, we are going to budget $563. I am going to increase my gas budget. Previously, we budgeted $240 last month. Let's go ahead and add $100. So this month, we are going to budget $340 for gas. For household, we are going to budget $150. For miscellaneous, we are going to budget $50. And then self-care, we are going to budget the normal $300. So now let's go ahead and add up our variable expenses. So $563 plus $340 plus $150 plus $15 plus $300. So my variable expenses are $1,403. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my envelope total line. Now we need to find our leftover amount after budgeting all of our variable expenses. So we had $2,038.15 and our variable expenses is $1,403. So we are left with $635.15. Now we are going to, I'm gonna move this out of the way. The next section we are going to budget for is our sinking funds. I do have a summer saver and that's where the $400 goes into every month. So I'm just gonna put the $400 here, that way it is accounted for. And let's put our leftover amount here. And then we're not gonna be stuffing any of our other sinking funds right now. So our sinking fund total is $400. So let's take the $635.15 and minus the $400 that goes into our super saver. So we are left with $235.15. Now let's budget our extra debt payment. So we're left with $235. Last month we budgeted $200 for extra debt payment. This month, let's go ahead and up that amount since I did pay off my Best Buy credit card. And I think the month, the minimum payment each month was $29. We're just going to go ahead and roll it over. So for the Alfion credit card, let's make an extra debt payment of $230. So if we take our leftover amount of $235.15 and we minus $230, we're going to be left with $5.15. So I'm going to take my extra debt total and put it here. And I'm going to take my leftover amount and put it here, $5.15. And then I'm just going to add that $5.15 to my buffer. So the buffer is $5.15. So I'm going to put that for my extra savings total. So if I take my leftover amount of $5.15 and minus my savings total for my buffer, which is $5.15, that means I am left with $0.00. Sorry, that was out of frame. That means I am left with $0 and that is how I get my zero base budget. So if I take my income total and then subtract my bill total, subtract my envelope total, my sinking fund total, my extra debt payment total, and my extra savings total, I will be left with $0. The next part of my budget is where I do my cash envelope breakdown and I simply just 
take my variable expenses and then I also add my son's Kung Fu since I pay for my son's Kung Fu. I write down the amount and then I fill out how I want my cash denomination breakdown to be. And then I will put this information on a post-it and then take it to the bank to withdraw my money. I am not gonna fill out this page on camera just to save time. If you like watching me fill out this page, just leave it in the comment section and I would not mind filming it. I just don't know if you guys want to see it. Well, that concludes today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed today's budget with me video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and definitely consider hitting that subscribe button to join me on my financial journey. I would love to have you become a part of the family. Well, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It definitely helps out my channel.